everyone, it's Shannon and welcome back to my channel. We're going to be making an enamel style clock using Dollar Tree supplies. So let's get right to it. So let's look at the supplies that you'll need to create this clock. And the first things are from the Dollar Tree. You are going to need two of these number puzzles. They're made out of foam. So like I said, two of those, doesn't matter what color, we're gonna paint those. I also have a placemat, which you can see I have used for a couple other projects already. If you wanna check those out, I will link those down below. Those were Dollar Tree projects as well. I also have a big piece of white foam board from Dollar Tree. You'll need a really, really sharp X-Acto knife. I have something to protect my countertop. Um, this is just a self-healing mat, but use what you have on hand or be very, very careful when you're cutting out your foam board. And then for finishing, I may try to spray paint. I'm gonna test and see if, I know styrofoam sort of melts when you spray paint it. This is more of like a rubber, so I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to test one and spray paint one of those numbers black. And if that works out, then I'll spray paint all the numbers for the clock black. And then I also have some black chalk paint and a foam paintbrush. And then you'll also need something big and round. And this is the biggest round thing I could find. Uh, you could also do the whole like string on the end of a pencil and draw a big circle that way. And you kind of like uh, put a nail or something in the middle to hold one end of your string tight while you draw your circle. And that would probably make a lot bigger of a circle for you but that doesn't always end up looking very nice for me, unfortunately, so I figured I would grab what I had, and this is the lid to a trash can that I just made, and you can check that tutorial out. I will link that down below too. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just trace this lid onto my foam board and cut it out with my X-Acto knife. All right, so I have all of my numbers and you actually could get away with just buying one of these because I just figured out you could use the equal signs or these little dashes that were over here as one. Since you need so many ones, you need it for the 10, 11, 12, and one. And that kind of made up for the other ones that I was just pulling ones out of. So if that makes sense. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and take just one of these out here and go test it and let you know if you can spray paint these or not. All right, so while I'm waiting for that first test piece to dry, I'm gonna work on adding the enamel effect to the edge of this clock. So I have my black chalk paint here and a foam paint brush and I'm just gonna make sure I hit all the way around these edges here. And then I'm gonna kind of go around the front a little bit and make it look chippy like it's chipped enamel. Really, really simple. If you don't have paint, you could even use a Sharpie for this. Here's a close-up look at the edges of the clock. I kind of did some heavier spots and then some thinner spots. 
and like I said, make sure to get those edges there. And I brought the test piece inside and it worked just fine. The only thing is, is it's windy, so it's blowing around a little bit out there. But I'm gonna go ahead and just spray paint all of those numbers. All right, so now I am going to work on the hands of the clock. So this is not necessarily a working clock. You could purchase a clock kit from a craft store and use that, but this is just more decorative. So I'm gonna use this plastic placemat from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to freehand some two um, clock hands, so a longer one and a shorter one. And then I am going to attach it with a little brad that I have here, which will give it a nice little decorative center and it'll also help keep the hands attached to the clock. So here's my rinky dink little clock hands. This bigger one is nine inches. This one's about five and a half inches. I also cut a little scrap piece of foam board down and I'm gonna use that in the middle where I attach these with the brad to sort of separate the clock hand. So, you know, it looks a little bit more realistic instead of just being flat and glued down. And now I'm going to use my chalk paint and paint the clock hands black. All right, so I brought in all of the numbers from outside and let them dry out there. Now they are ready to go. And I actually really like this texture on here. It looks kind of like a hammered metal, so it's really, really cool. I put two coats of black chalk paint on my clock hands. And I also painted this brad black. It was like a goldish color and it kind of stood out. So I went ahead and painted the head of that black and I'm letting that dry. And now I'm going to use my Aline's Tacky Glue, which is from the Dollar Tree too, to attach my numbers onto the clock. And the reason I'm using this is because you have some dry times. So you have some wiggle room to where you can kind of lay out your, your numbers and move them around once you get all of them on to make them look you know, nice and evenly spaced so now that's what i'm going to go ahead and do is put all of the numbers on while the other things are drying Thank you all so very much for joining me for this tutorial. I feel like you could take this idea and really personalize it and make it your own. Make it different sizes, maybe do Roman numerals, do different colors. I think it'd be really cute if you added some shiplap lines on there too. So lots of great ideas. Let me know down in the comments below, how would you recreate yours? I hope you'll take a second to give this video a thumbs up for me. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can stick around and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs 
progress tutorials and new inspiration. And while you're at it, hit that bell as well so you get notified when my videos go live. Thank you all so much again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.